people here are married. Happily married. I think I lost half the hands there. <laughs> Let's try this one. How many people have been divorced? <laughs> Happily divorced. Got some double hands there. <laughs> I'm sure people are happily divorced. I can see that. But I'm guessing the divorce process was not happy, but probably pretty stressful. 40% of Canadian marriages end in divorce. That rate's higher in the U.S. In fact, divorce is ranked as the second most stressful event out of 10 that can happen to you. And I don't need to tell you, it is hard. If you haven't had the pleasure of being through one, imagine this. Trying to get out of your cell phone contract, cable contract, and mortgage contract all at once, multiply that by 100, and you have yourself a divorce. I'm a divorce coach and divorced. And now I could say happily divorced. I didn't plan to get divorced, but as a result of the process, I did discover a tool that reduces stress and strengthens relationships. And I can tell you, it's far better to have this tool and not need it than need it and not have it. I'm talking about prenups, of course prenuptial or premarital agreements. And their close cousins, cohabitation agreements, and for you married folks, marriage contracts or postnups. Pretty romantic stuff, right? <laughs> There's more. Prenups are nothing new. They're legal documents, mutually agreed to by couples, initiated in the unfortunate situation of divorce. Essentially, they protect current and future financial assets, as well as provide for spousal support. And that's usually where the definition stops. But prenups are so much more. With prenups, not only couples, but families can save themselves a whole lot of time, money, and stress. Without prenups, family laws govern. Unfortunately, that's when battle strategies often take over and matters don't get resolved easily. Although we all think we're gonna be on our mature A game during the divorce process, I can tell you, we're not. So, why not a prenup? Did I have one? Nope. I heard of them in law school, but it never dawned on me to get one. Why? I was optimistic about my marriage. And why in the world would I ask a person I love and implicitly trust that we pay good money to plan our own divorce? But happy beginnings don't always lead to happy endings. First year university, I started dating the guy. And five years later, I married him, the man I loved. And I felt that marital bliss I'd always heard about. So far, so good, right? After 10 years of marriage, one toddler later, blindsided. My husband came home, told me he wanted out. I was devastated. Yeah. My friend Lucky, bless her social worker heart, actually had to dictate emails to me over the phone, then instruct me when to hit send. This was not my best moment. Fortunately, I didn't live in that mess forever. My ex and I worked out some of the details, but the rest were worked out in the courts. No prenup, no postnup, needing it, not having it. After four grueling years with a big hit to our pocketbooks and a load of stress, we finally moved on. Me to become a divorce coach. And it's why I feel so strongly about telling people that prenups are a tool that help them manage divorce stress and create healthy futures for themselves and their children and encourages strong marriages from the beginning. Prenups can help do all of that. But again, not very sexy. <laughs> Picture one of those pharmaceutical commercials with a happy couple in love, walking hand in hand, laughing, smiling. Then you hear, warning, 
Side effects of marriage may include financial headaches, increased bickering, loss of sleep due to snoring, toxic if combined with other agents. <laughs> ah. But just like an effective medication with some side effects, a prenup would have offered us huge benefits and reduced the time, money, stress, pain significantly. A family lawyer put it to me this way. Prenups help couples deal with the what ifs so they can actually relax and focus on their relationships. This shifted my thinking. It's like travel insurance, but more like relationship insurance. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Plus, it gives you peace of mind. Even with prenups, people walk away from marriage. Divorce happens. It's just, we don't think it's going to happen to us. We don't think we're going to be in that large percentage of divorces. We don't think we need to wonder about the what ifs. What if our finances change? What if we have kids and one of us makes career sacrifices? And of course, the big one. What if one or both of us eventually wants to end our marriage? The beauty of a prenup, the what ifs are worked out during a calmer and more loving time, not the stressful and emotionally charged time of divorce. When I was struggling to adjust to my new life, focused on my two-year-old and engrossed in serious legal and financial bat battles, gray hairs were literally popping out all over my head. <laughs> and it was a little late to start asking myself, why not a prenup? If we know prenups protect assets, reduce stress, and strengthen relationships, when should we bring up the topic? Well, I wouldn't put it in my online dating profile. <laughs> But I wouldn't leave it to the last minute either. It needs to be part of the wedding planning, not apart from it. Flower arrangements, check. Videographer, check. Prenup, check. More importantly, how should we start the conversation? Do I crack a bottle of red wine? Light a candle? Put on some jazz music? Casually pull out a document and say, honey, can you have a look at this prenup my lawyer drew up? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Let's face it, prenups are not sexy, but the conversation needs to start. This is why the three M's approach works so well. Mindset, money matters, and moving forward. First M, mindset. This is critical. Having uncomfortable conversations is a normal part of life and marriage. With the right mindset, you can start your marriage off with openness and transparency during this sensitive com conversation. This openness better prepares you to handle the hurdles along the way. Other reasons for why a prenup? You have children and you want to financially protect them before remarrying. Someone you know has been through a difficult divorce and was told by lawyers that prenups save headaches and hair color. <laughs> or for men, hair period. <laughs> or, or mom or grandpa care about you protecting a property, business, or future inheritance. Or maybe Cupid came later in your lives, so you have careers and assets you're concerned about. Second M. Money matters. While no two marriages or divorces are alike, we all know money is a sore spot during both. That's why I love the way many financial planners, lawyers, and mediators approach prenups. As a dialogue about, so honey, how are we going to organize our finances during marriage? This shifts our thinking about prenups from warring weapon to planning tool. Like premarital counseling, couples communicate their goals and concerns, build a mutual plan, and feel more confident in their relationships. You have a will, hopefully. You have a financial plan, hopefully. Why don't you have a prenup? Third M, moving forward. To keep the prenup conversation moving forward, use constructive responses and a big dose of love. 
Consider your partner's perspective. Create solutions together instead of digging in your heels or trying to win at all costs. And if things get kind of testy, hit the pause button for a few moments rather than simply caving into demands or avoiding the issues altogether. That's Healthy Marriages, brought to you by the letter M. <laughs> Mindset, money matters, and moving forward. Throughout the prenup process, and it is a process, remember the other person is a person, and it's about creating a healthy future together. Think about it. We know prenups protect assets, but their ability to decrease divorce stress and strengthen relationships before and during marriage is significant. Significant enough for the people I've worked with to shift their thinking about prenups from weapon to planning tool. We all know communication is the key to successful relationships, whether you're getting married, remarried, already married, or moving in together. It's time to start talking about why not a prenup. And maybe what we should be saying is, with this prenup, I do the wet. Thank you. <laughs>